the unsung heroes of Eyes, Lips, Face. I was going through my collection and I was trying to pull out new things to put in my everyday makeup drawer, just trying to switch it up as I do. And I realized that there are so many e.l.f. products that I use that I feel like no one talks about. And some of them are kind of more like tools and some of them are more like makeup, but they're ones that I've heard maybe a few times. It's not like they're completely unheard of, obviously, but they're not, they're not like the typical top 10 that most people mention. And I thought, I should mention these on my channel. I probably mentioned them in my e.l.f. best and worst videos. I've done a couple of those, but that's where I kind of go over everything that I have e.l.f. wise. And I can link those below if you're interested because e.l.f. is the bomb. But um, these are kind of my favorite. I think there's six things here. My favorite things that no one ever talks about that I use all the time, like almost every day for some of these. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing are the stipple brushes. These, there's the small stipple brush and the regular stipple brush, and of course this one has some blush on it because I used it today. Um, these are awesome for cream products, but also for powder products. I love using the big one for blush because it gives you a little more even um, application. Of course today I'm just kind of bumming around so I don't have, I did more of an eye look, but you know, blush wise I didn't put a ton on. And this is a really nice way to get a very diffused kind of airbrush look without trying too hard. And these are only three bucks a piece and if you get one of the many 50% off sales, you can get these for like a buck fifty and it's awesome. So these are definitely great. I love using the small stipple brush for um, everything. If you were like contouring with a cream product, it's great. It's great to buff out. Like if you've got too much going on here and you need to kind of buff it out, these are great for that as well. So love these two brushes. The next thing I'm gonna mention, I haven't heard anyone talk about, and this is the e.l.f. Eye Brightener. And these are, I think, $3, and I got it in the shade Buff. There's a few shades it comes in, but it's basically equivalent to like the Bare Minerals ones that they have. I have the Bare Minerals concealer in well rested and it is so similar to this and I used it today just I put on concealer and kind of blend it out with my hands and then I just grabbed a little like fluffy eyeshadow brush and used this to just kind of set it and I do that all the time because it's so much less expensive than the Bare Minerals ones and you get a good amount of product I mean you use so little of it that I mean it's going to take forever to go through it anyway but I just, I love this product and no one talks about it. And it's totally a dupe for the Bare Minerals one, totally. So if you've been thinking about getting that, I would try the Elf one because I think you'll be surprised. This one is one that um, I fell in love with and I actually bought it because Emily Noel 83 who I just adore because she just seems intelligent and honest and I just like her. Um, she recommended this and I, because I'd always seen it and I think it's like five or six bucks. So it's a little more expensive in the realm of Elf, but I was like, I don't know how to use it. You just take the stick and just put it all over your face. It's going to mess up with your makeup. But she recommended you could use a brush or just use your finger. And like right now, I got some sun while we were in Mackinac City. And so it's like kind of peeling a little bit. And when I put on like powder this morning, I was like, <gasps> it's like a little bit of dry. But then when I put this on it, it just kind of got rid of that dryness and moisturized that area without messing up my makeup and everything. So... This is an awesome one. If you get crepiness under your eyes, I've used that too, where if it just gets a little weird and kind of cracked, especially in the winter when your skin is dry, you just get a little bit on your finger and just press it into it. And I swear it doesn't mess up your makeup. It's the weirdest and coolest thing, but it just moisturizes and kind of mixes everything back together. It's really, really cool. And it was funny because when I saw it was like $6, it took me a while to actually buy this because I was like, I don't want to spend six dollars, but then I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'll easily drop six dollars on like, if, if a benefit thing was on crazy clearance for six dollars, you'd be like, no problem buying it. But something from Elf, I'm like, six dollars? But it's funny the way our minds work, isn't it? But I love it. Another product is the eye makeup remover. Now this is an older one, I need to buy a new one. Um, but they last a surprising amount of time and it's basically, it's almost like a Q-tip that's dipped in eye makeup remover. Um, they stay um, like useful, you know what I mean? I want to say like moist for a long amount of time and I always just wipe this off on a tissue or something after I've used it. But I use it to help me create like a wing, like erase if you will, anything so that I can get it in exactly the shape that I want. Honestly, I would not know how to do a wing if it wasn't for this. So if you don't have this in your collection, I promise you need it and you'll love it and it's like three bucks. Now, this is another one that honestly I forgot I had and then when I pulled it out I was like, I used to love this, like a matter of months ago, but I just forgot about it. And it's the e.l.f. Mineral Foundation. And I have it in porcelain. I also have it in the one shade darker than this too. But um, 
it works just as well as the Bare Minerals foundation. It's so great if you don't want to wear foundation but you do need a little bit of coverage. I'll use my tinted moisturizer or like a BB cream and then throw this on top and it looks as good if not better than when I'm wearing foundation because it's got the most perfect coverage but it doesn't look weird and cakey. It looks more like skin but it's like perfect skin. It's amazing and I think this one is five or six dollars as well but again you get plenty of product and it's just so good. It's so, so, so good. Oh my gosh. And it has, if I remember, yeah, it has SPF of 15 in it. Go figure. <laughs> and the last thing I'll mention is one that I've never heard talked about, and I've had this forever. It's the Eye Primer and Liner Sealer, and I just saw in stores, they still have it. I haven't looked online. I'm assuming it's still online too. But it's $3, and it's got two different things. So on one side, it is the eye primer, and it's like a thick, like, stick. It's almost like a concealer. But, um, and it really does that. It conceals the entire area there. So if you have any veining or weird pigmentation, this will help completely even it out. And it holds on to shadow all day, especially if you have oily eyelids. I really think you'll like this primer. And then on the other side, it's a liner sealer, which I didn't know what that was for a long time. It's basically like a little brush here that's really kind of firm. It's not bendable. But you dip it in this liquid that's in here, and then you dip it in a shadow or whatever you want. And you can make eyeliner with it, and it stays put and it makes beautiful eyeliners and then again I just wipe this off on a tissue before I put it back in there. Again this is getting pretty old though and I'm almost done with the concealer so I need to buy a new one but for three bucks you can't beat it and oh my gosh this might be if I'm picking like my top this might be my favorite elf product ever because I love both of these things and it makes no sense that these are together I have no idea why this product will be put together with this but I love it so much and I think honestly this and the elf eye makeup remover mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. so hopefully that was helpful and of course I will link below those elf best and worst videos that I've done I've done two in the past where I go through what I don't like from elf and what I do like and it's a lot more products that I feature um, so if you're interested in either one of those the link will be below and if you like these kinds of videos please subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon bye